Well, every day we rely on truck drivers to transport many of the things we buy in stores. But in Arkansas, the reality is that there's a backlog to get the special licenses that drivers need to drive those big rigs. And tonight, THV 11's Frederick Price shows us how the industry is addressing that big problem. Um, all consumers are dealing with these constraints of um, getting goods from um, warehouses to store shelves. Your favorite items in the store are usually delivered by truck drivers. Some consider them to be America's backbone, but the increased interest in Arkansans in seeking their CDO license has created a testing traffic jam. We have seen an influx of individuals seeking their CDLs. Shannon Newton is the president of the Arkansas Trucking Association. We have individuals who have gone through the, the classroom training and are ready to test out and facing these backlogs in the skills testing with the state police. That testing falls under the responsibility of state police, she tells me, but challenges have lessened some of their staff's ability. Some testing constraints um, put on the state police through some staffing issues or capacity issues to do the test. And it's just kind of created this um, funnel, if you will, of individuals trying to you know, squeeze through that last step of the process. Newton says there are six different sites across the state where testers can go. The problem is now there is a weeks long delay between training and the skills test. You have individuals coming out of their you know, two or three week classroom training and then having to wait an additional three to four weeks before they're able to enter the workforce. It's just not an ideal circumstance. She adds now they'll be using the Saline County Fairgrounds for 45 days as a testing site. That will allow for more tests per day. State police are also allowing overtime for examiners throughout the state. They're able to utilize the, the overtime to do maybe an additional test per day or to come in and, you know, maybe work half days on a Saturday to try to address that backlog. Although this partnership with the state police is only temporary, Newton is hopeful this will lessen the load. So certainly some non-traditional solutions and that we're hoping provide some short-term relief so that we can get back on schedule. At Little Rock, Frederick Price, THV 11 News. Frederick, thank you. And he mentioned that testing that's going on at the Saline County Fairgrounds. It'll begin on May 31st, that's Tuesday. And then at the end of June, they'll review the wait times to see if they'll need to create additional measures.